Hiya pals, Robin here and in today's film we are going up Goat Fell for a wild camp We're parked up down at the brewery there and just before setting off we uh, had a quick pint in the, the wine port basically just to let some of the drizzly rain to pass and having a, a quick pint in there has actually worked uh, the rain's off at the moment, fingers crossed We've got just over 200 metres to the summit, which will be just beyond there. You can see walkers on that snow patch just there as well. I don't know if we're going to get our wild camp on the summit though, because there's a couple of gusts of wind that knocked us off our feet. So I don't know if it's going to be that enjoyable. Right, I'm almost at the summit. I veered off the path just to avoid the snow here and it's also clouded up just as we've arrived as well so it could blow over good chance of all right we're almost there sheltered from the wind at the moment if there was just room for two tents you'd be laughing i'll tell you what though this path from start to finish is excellent you don't need gators at all Really good granite rock, right from the beginning, right to the top. Right, speaking of the top, where is it? There it is. You can just see the trick point. There we go. Bailing. No way to camp really. It's all saturated wet and uh, the only sheltered spot wasn't sheltered. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get a low level camp somewhere. That was a pity. Alright. The snow patch I avoided on the way up. I'm going to do a cramp on the ice axe out. Caught on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Self arrest. <laughs> the amount of litter on the summit was shocking. I managed to get a few bits and bobs in my bag, but there was no way I could get it all. I think if everybody just took one item of litter off the hill with them, ideally nobody should litter, but unfortunately they do. But eh, uh, and who drinks Munster by the way, that stuff's bloody gut rot. As you can see the path just winds up there and then it picks up the ridge here and then it comes all the way up and up to the summit there. Realise a very good path, I think I said that before. Anyway, Stevie's pushing on so I better catch up. I'll bring you back later. Alright folks, how's it going? Well, we're having a bit of a stealth camp at the moment. Hey, now we're cooking on gas. This is my new Christmas present from Nicola. She's got one of these nice x -fed. I want something just a little bit warmer and something just a little bit more comfortable because I'm hoping to do the Cape Raft Trail later on in 2020 and 
the Alpkit ones are fine, don't get me wrong, but they're, they're more two season than three season. And this X bed is meant to be good down to minus six. It's got one of these schnozzle bags which I used to slag off because I thought, what's wrong with a good old bit of air from the lungs? What's it? And that is done. I'll show you what I mean by a stealth camp. <laughs> I don't know if you can see just there. There's Stevie, by the way. He's got his uh, Acto. No, it's not an Acto, it's the Solo. <laughs> that there, that is the uh, the toilets, and the main road through Brodick is just literally there, and there's a a Scott Mid or a cooperative just there, and the car parks there. So I don't know if stealth's the right word because I've got all these bright lights on. But uh, yeah, there you go. I've brought the uh, Lunar Solo with me. This is what I would have been camping on the summit with. Well, it's nine o'clock now. We arrived at the pub about, what, five o'clock? We'd been there till about eight o'clock, so I'm a little bit tipsy. And uh, this isn't the most spectacular wild camp I've had. I don't, think, I don't even know if I can call it a wild camp, because I'm like, literally behind the toilet block of Brodick. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, it's uh, good to get out back under canvas, regardless of where I am. Um, tomorrow we're going to do Ben Tarson, which is one of the Corbett's of Aaron, and that will be in a separate video. So I'm going to leave this from now, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>